Lesson number one. Fucking Micronesians! That's my seventh grade friend. Cussing at those boys across the street, rocking swap meat, blue t-shirts, baggy jeans, spitting a steady beetle nut stream. Yeah, that one's related to me. You know, you're actually kind of smart for a Micronesian. And that's my classmate, who I tutored through the Civil War, through the first immigrants, through history that always seems to repeat itself. Lesson number two, Micronesians. Micronesians, as in small. Tiny crumbs of island scattered across the Pacific Ocean. Too many countries, cultures no one has heard about, cares about, too small to notice. Small like how I feel. When woman at the salon, delicately tracing white across my nail, stops and says, you know, you don't look Micronesian. You're much prettier. Lesson number three. Prettier, as in not ugly, like those other Micronesian girls who are always walking by the street smiling rows of gold teeth like they got no shame with hair greased and braided cascading down dirt roads of brown skin, down shimmering dresses called guams and neon colored chuki skirts and I can hear the disgust in my cousin's voice. Look at those girls. They wear their guams to school and to the store like they're at home. Don't they know? This isn't their country. This is America. See, that's why everyone here hates us Micronesians. Lesson number four. I'll tell you why everyone here hates us Micronesians. It's cause we're neon colored skirts screaming different. Different like that ESL kid whose name you can't pronounce, whose accent you can't miss. Different like 7-Eleven, Walmart, Mickey D's, parking lot kickets and fights, those long hours, those blue collar nights. Different like parties with hundreds of swarming aunties, uncles, cousins, sticky breadfruit drenched in creamy coconut, coolers of our favorite fish, wheeled from the airport, barbecued on a spit, my uncle waving me over. Come, come, let's eat. Lesson number five. Headline, no aloha for Micronesians in Hawaii. Headline, Micronesians fill homeless shelters. Headline, Micronesians run hefty healthcare tab. Quote, you know, they're better off living homeless in Hawaii than they are living in their own islands. Quote, we should have just nuked their islands when we got the chance. Joke, hey, hey, why did the Micronesian man marry a monkey? Because all Micronesian women are monkeys. What? Can't you take a joke? Lesson number six. It's actually not Micronesians. It's Marshallese, Yappies, Chukis, Palauan, Kosrayan, Pompeian, Chamoru, Kiribati, but when Hawaii insists on lumping us all together, when they belittle us and tell us we're small, when they tell us our people are small, when they give us a blank face, when they give us a closed door, when so many in Hawaii hate Micronesians, when so many in Hawaii hate us. Lesson number seven, that's how I learned, that's how I learned, that's how I learned to hate me. I feel like this poem was written specifically because I lived here for so long. I lived here for about like six, 14 years of my life and I felt like there's this kind of underlying racism that I grew up with and I just came to accept as a part of daily life and I didn't know that this isn't, you know, that this isn't okay, it's not okay for people to treat you like that until I moved away and I was like, oh, not everyone hates Micronesians, you know, so. That's why I, I felt like I needed to write this poem and make it happen. So, yeah. But I, at the same time, I was really hesitant about sharing this piece because, you know, I, I'm not saying that, I'm not blaming Hawaiians, I'm not pointing, I'm not trying to point fingers. I'm just trying to say we're human beings and we don't deserve to be treated this way. Nobody deserves it. Yeah, totally, I agree. And so, regardless of the politics, you know, the government is going around shifting monies and pushing us against each other, pushing our communities against each other. And I, I don't want to see that happening anymore. I want to see us collaborate. I want to see us working together. And I want, you know, a lot of people say, this is what happens when you're the latest immigrants. You know, you need to just suck it up. But I don't, I don't think that's okay. Why does it have to continue? Yeah, why does it have to continue? Why do we have to keep doing this to each other? You know, we should just be supporting each other. So, that's what I wanted to say with this piece. Yeah.
It's coming from a place where I'm trying to heal and I'm trying to let go of, I was trying to let go of all that anger because I had been told for so long, I was trying to show the piece that, you know, I had been told for so long that it didn't matter, that I started to believe I didn't matter. And I don't want other people to, to, to go around thinking that way, basically. I want people to realize that there is something wrong that's happening here and it's not your fault. I want other people to realize that. It took me a while to get to that conclusion. And, you know, it's not everybody's experience, but I wanted to get that out there, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs>